So I'm here with Oliver Stone, who is in Hong Kong, to uh, uh, talking about Chinese art. Uh, you are a an art Chinese art collector, art collector, but you write you practice the art of film. What is the difference between these two mediums, and what are their strengths? Good question. I the I'm responding to I respond generally to the, the Chinese art because it was very vital in the 1990s. It broke it broke away from the uh, Cultural Revolution and the. The artists had all been through a, the a repression, war, famine, and, and when they got free of this uh, totalitarian regime, there was an explosion of energy. And I think you see that in their paintings. And I bought a, I bought them because they were genuine revolutionary art, and I loved it. And uh, they've been on my walls for what, 15 years, and they they become very. Uh, uh, precious uh, to uh, to the Chinese people, and I'm selling back some of them. But uh, film is the same kind of spirit. It's like a vitality that you feel. It's uh, it's in motion. Of course, it involves a lot more money, and it's a very bigger operation. You have to bring other collaborators in. A painter works alone generally. So it's but they're similar. And I find that if I probably had been in another life, I, I don't have great drawing skills. But I wish I could have been a painter. I think it's a secret sort of desire. Which I, could. I love the sensuality of painting, the colors, the excitement. It's all in one moment. And it's something sometimes a still photograph just can't do for me the same thing. So I think painting sets like a piece of music. Composers and uh, painters are the most. They work alone and they're. Extremely, they're they're dynamic and like motion picture people are. Are you still collecting Chinese art? Are you looking to stay in this? I don't collect. I just buy paintings from all over the world as I move through because I move my walls around and I try to keep it fresh. So I've had these paintings for about 15 years. It's time for change. I have other things go in and out, but I don't really collect. I don't consider my, it's too much of a job. That's. You know, it's but the Chinese art attracted you for its vitality, the revolutionary, no, the revolutionary were, you know, aspect. They were like movies of their time. You know? Like the Chinese people who lived through that period must have gone through tremendous mental changes to be uh, in a totalitarian regime and then into an extremely uh, capitalist regime where the extreme free market it must have been shocking to shocking to some people. You have to change all your habits. Right? Okay, excellent. Well, I hope it's good experience changing your habits with losing these paintings after I 15 try years. I to change my habits. Get unstuck, man. Try to try to keep it loose. Try to move on. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.